Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for checking out today's video. <clears throat> so you're here for a haul. Um, long story short, Bath & Body Works recently had a decent hand soap sale. Um, I believe it was, the price was $2.95 in the US and $3.25 here in Canada. Um, I won't bore you with my usual spiel, but it's still $10 for shipping here in Canada um, from the Bath & Body Works website. It's very rare do I see free shipping, so uh, my friend and I thought it was a good opportunity to split the shipping, which is what we usually do, to make it a little more reasonable, and order some hand soaps because the price was right. So, obviously we each ended up paying around 5 bucks for shipping. And before I dive into my haul, um, well, actually, we'll just talk about it when we get to it. Let's just dive in because I feel like I'm actually very excited for these soaps. <laughs> A, because they're spring summer fragrances for the most part, <clears throat> which is what I needed in the house. Um, and B, because there's quite a few soaps in here that I've never smelled before. So you're going to um, witness my honest opinion and first sniff impression and honestly off the top of my head right now I don't remember everything I ordered the limit was 20 soaps and I think I ordered 13 but somehow ended up with 12 and I can't remember if it was because my friend only ordered one of the particular scent but anyway we'll talk about it when we get into it let's dive in I'm just gonna grab here, gonna grab and go. Okay, so one of the scents I was the most excited to get my hands on, the Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candle, candle, candy. Um, love the packaging, love that it's blue. I tend to love BBW Easter fragrances because they're, they're candy scents, right? So I got two because I was very excited. Let's look at the scent notes here. I've never smelled this before. My guess is that this is a ripoff of the, hold up and I'm gonna grab it because it's right behind me. I have one left, but my guess is that it is this scent, Tutti Fruity Jelly Bean. Although this says Tutti Fruity Candy. I will know instantly when I smell this if it's a repackage of this because I just burned this candle for the first time um, last month, I want to say. Very excited. I'm going to try to smell these without spilling them, which is very difficult for me. Scent notes here. Oh, I need my glasses. <clears throat> I just came in from outside, so I have sunglasses on, not my actual prescription glasses. Uh, sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's going to be the same. Sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Called it. Even the notes are the same. Interesting. So the notes are the same. Let's see if it actually smells the same because I feel like BBW does this a lot. I don't think it's the same at all. It's... It does smell like a repackage of something, though. It does smell very familiar, but it doesn't smell like that candle. It's very light. It is not a strong scent. It doesn't smell like jelly beans, berries, or lemon to me. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> no! Weird. That is not at all what I thought it would smell like. I don't expect the other one to smell different, but I'm hoping... I don't know. I, I can't even tell you what this smells like. It smells kind of perfumey. It's very soft. I'm very disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping um, that it would either smell like the candle or like... And again, hold up. I'm going to see if I still have it. I do. What I really wanted it to smell like is this. The Happy Easter Sweet Bunny Berry. This is... Bath & Body Works needs to make this scent an all-year-round scent and all of the things because it smells like Swedish berries candy to me. Uh, hence how empty it is. This is old, obviously. It's a couple years old. 
Yeah, now this, this and that candle, those smell like Easter candy. Those soaps, mm, dang. Well, I'm glad I smelled them first because if I had saved them till the end, like I normally do, like saving the best for last, it's typically what I do, I would have ended this video pretty bummed out. So I'm kind of glad that I grabbed those first. Also, not a fan of the color of that lid with this or that pump, but that's just me being picky. Anyway, moving right along. What is this? Oh, yeah, I totally don't remember what I ordered. This is a lot of new stuff here. I've never smelled these. I haven't been in Bath and Body Works, like in store in almost a year, I wanna say, so. White oak and vanilla. First of all, love this packaging. This like lavender color, my all time favorite color. I don't know, I, I, I've never smelled this. There's no scent notes on it other than white oak and vanilla, but I tend to like woodsy fragrances, some of them, and I tend to like vanilla fragrances, and I have a feeling I'm gonna love this, and I think this might be good for any time of year. So I'm going to very carefully smell this for the first time. Okay, that is beautiful. It reminds me of coconut, and van coconut vanilla, vanilla coconut from Bath and Body Works. I get coconut out of this for some reason. I wonder if there is some in there. And then definitely there's a woodsiness and a vanilla. That, okay, love, love packaging, love, love everything about that one. That's exciting. Um, never smelled this before either, but I thought it would be great for the summer. You are my sunshine island punch. Do we have scent notes on this one? Wow, I really need my glasses. Um, tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugarcane. Interesting. I don't think I read the scent notes on that before putting it, before deciding to order it, because honestly, <clears throat> the idea of papaya and coconut together is not exciting to me. I hope I don't hate this. If I do, I'll just give it away. I can't see myself hating it, but... I will say I do really love that packaging and I like that color of soap again. Okay, this is also, this also smells like something else that I've had before. I like it. It does not smell like Island Punch to me. It does, I mean, I guess you could say that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's sweet. You can smell the coconut, but it doesn't like overpower the whole fragrance. I am like quickly realizing that I don't think I've smelled any of these. This is very exciting. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have taken the risk and ordered a bunch of soaps I've never smelled before. Um, if the price was a little more, um, but the price was right, you know, so. Um, so this is the one. Um, beautiful day. I don't often find this in the soap. I'm hoping this actually smells like beautiful day and not like something else. Um, love this packaging, very classy, very classic. Um, but I got this for my sister. She she really enjoys the beautiful day fragrance. That's why I'm hoping that this is like the original because otherwise I don't know if she'll like it. Um, are we gonna focus, scent notes, wild daisies, pink peonies and sun-kissed apples. I do remember Beautiful Day being basically a green apple floral scent. I'm sure I still have some Beautiful Day products in the house here, but I'll know instantly when I smell this if it's it's the Beautiful Day that I remember or not. And I hope it is because it will make my sister very happy. So this is the this is one of the other soap that I wanted two of, and I can't remember what happened um, because my friend placed the order for us either she mistakenly only ordered one or they only gave us one. I don't remember what ended up happening, but it's okay. At least I have one to give her. Whenever there's a good sale like this, I always think ahead to like birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, and then I stock up. Yeah, that, that smells like a beautiful day. It smells a little different in the soap, but I do find that that happens. Yep. Oh, good. That's that's great news. I, again, wish that I got, I got the two, but that's okay. Cool. Awesome. Look at those pretty colors. Oh, which is funny because I have almost all pink left, but 
Um, okay, the only soap I have here, just double checking so that I know I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, yeah, okay. The only soap that I ordered that I have had before. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I have 12 soaps here and out of the 12, this is the only scent that I've had before. That's crazy. In hand soap. A lot of these are new. Anyway, and strawberry pound cake. Normally I make my own hand soap. So that's probably why I grabbed this. Actually, I'll use this and then I'll refill it and make some more foaming soap with my um, strawberry pound cake body wash, shower gel, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Scent notes here, same as they always are. Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And this does not want to open, so I'm not even going to try right now because I know what it smells like. Very exciting. Okay, let's keep on going here. We have six left, and I have never smelled any of these in hand soap. This one I have had in a candle, but I've never had in hand soap, so I don't know if it's going to smell the same as a candle. Let's find out. You'll also notice that all 12 soaps are the gentle foaming. I just prefer the foaming. Yes, I go through them very quickly, but they just make less of a mess in my sink, <laughs> especially when I have the kiddos around. So scent notes for the coastal watermelon, juicy watermelon, pinch of sea salt, and ocean waves. I, I did enjoy this candle. I had two of the coastal watermelon candles, um, kind of light for me, but I did enjoy them. I prefer pink watermelon. That is just phenomenal, but let's see. Had there been a pink watermelon soap, I would have grabbed it. Oh, that's lovely. It is, it's like fresh watermelon, but has like a beachy vibe to it. That's cool, I really like that. Definitely gonna run out of room, but that's okay. That's pretty common around here. I'm very excited for this as well. I do think at some point in my life, I have had a strawberry kiwi soap from BBW, but this is not a scent that they have all the time. So I'm expecting that this might, I might not even remember the scent of it because it's been so long. The notes are strawberry, sweet apple and tart kiwi. That sounds amazing to me. And a uh, cute color, cute label. I feel like I have gotten a strawberry kiwi soap from like an SAS before. I tend to like anything strawberry kiwi. It's it's sweet, fruity, almost candy-like. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that happy Easter soap, but better. Yeah, I don't know, I like it. I'm excited to try that one. Um. Up next, you cake my breath away, sweet sugar sprinkles. This one, I actually, I remember clicking on the scent description because I thought, okay, is this gonna be like a sweet bakery scent? Because when I think sugar sprinkles, I think obviously of sprinkles on top of something. Or is it gonna be like a candy sweet type scent? And if I recall correctly, it seemed more like candy to me. And if it'll focus, there we go. Whipped vanilla, confetti sprinkles, and sugared strawberries. So it kind of reminds me of that, um, what is it, raspberry sprinkles or something? Confetti? I don't know. Anyway, the notes on this kind of remind me of that, and I do have that in a, in a cream, so let's see. Or I did have that in a cream. Maybe I've used it up. I've been getting through a lot of my stash, and I'm very proud of myself for that. Oh, I'm making a spill. Oh, am I ever. I knew it was going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, it's very sugary. Very, very sugary. But the, there's a vanilla in here that makes me feel like this is less candy and more bakery. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit of a mess here when I'm done. And it's all over my hands. Oh, dear. <laughs> Again. Those of you who have been with me for a minute, you're not surprised. I am a hot mess. Yeah, my hands are just soaked in that. So hopefully that doesn't affect me smelling the last few soaps here. Vanilla Cloud sounded really sounded really good and I liked the scent description. There is no scent description on here, but I do remember reading it before deciding to purchase this one. Cute, classy packaging. Vanilla Cloud. And now that my hands are covered in soap, it's hard for me to take the lids off. 
<clears throat> Ooh, okay, this one is even more creamy vanilla than the um, sweet sugar sprinkles. This would be a great body care scent, Vanilla Cloud. It's like a sweet vanilla, but with m more to it. It's a little more sophisticated. I really like that. And I'm trying for the first time. Look at that packaging. Isn't that soap pretty? Love it. Cabana Escape. Scent notes. Aloe water, warm summer breeze, and juicy mango. That's right. I remember now because I remember thinking, well, there's mango in it, so I'll probably like it. This one, this one will be nice towards the end of summer when it's really hot out. Oh yeah, that's great. There's definitely juicy mango in that. That is sweet, tropical. It reminds me of, was it the pineapple mango? I used to use the Bath and Body Works um, scented oil. I think it was pineapple mango. This reminds me a lot of that scented oil. And last but not least, pumped to smell this one as well. Blueberry Bellini. I love blueberry scents, but usually, I, well, always, I prefer my blueberry scents to be more like, more candy-like than bakery. For example, the blueberry pie scent. I do like it, but I prefer like a candy blueberry type scent, which is what I'm kind of hoping I'll get from this. Um, scent notes, wild blueberry. I'm sorry my hand is shaking. I'm filming in a really awkward position right now. <laughs> Wild Blueberry, Bright Citrus, and Sparkling Prosecco. So yeah, it, that makes me think it's literally going to smell like a blueberry bellini. A sparkling blueberry cocktail. Okay. This smells very familiar. That blueberry, instantly this, it's triggering a memory of blueberry pie. But it definitely is a little different. It's a little brighter, obviously, the bright citrus. I like it. Um, I thought I would like it a little more, but I like it. But it might also smell different when it dries down on my hands. I will say, um, I don't find any of these soaps as strong as BBW soaps typically are. So I wonder if that's a thing. And maybe they're doing that because some people don't like super strong fragrances, right? I mean, not everybody wants their hands to smell like candy, you know, for hours after washing them. I do, but yeah, so that is that. And I'm going to try to show you all almost everything. I know I'm not going to get it all in here, but I'm going to move the camera. So those are my 12. As I said, it would have been 13. Um, hand soaps from the recent sale. I'm stoked. I'm so excited to have some good spring summer stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to get through all of this this spring summer. We're already into May, so that's not going to happen. But this is kind of how I do things, right? When there's a good sale, I stock up and I usually have enough for the following season. So that's why right now I do have a couple spring summer soaps in my stash, but I also have some fall winter and some that will work all year, you know. Um, most of this is pretty spring summer so yeah I doubt that I will buy any hand soaps now until the fall winter ones come out but this is just so my jam and these colors and these scents it's just so up my alley I apologize about the noise as usual I should have closed everything up but I was just excited and I wanted to get in and uh, smell all of this so yeah all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more and hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any upcoming content. All right, guys, thank you. I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye.